coming up. Some people are stuck. These people are stuck with a rover on an alien planet. We find a decapitated alien. He's a decapitated alien. And you make someone cry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to space. We have had some comments by people asking us to review the Lego Space Explorer and Alien Life. By some comments, do you mean one? Yes, we've had one comment about people asking us to review this set. When you say one, I think you mean none. Yes, nobody has commented to review this set, but that's okay, because we're going to do it anyway. So that looks first good off, you know. Well, if you get the bottom of another alien, but they don't give you a head for him. That's kind of sad. No, that's because you get two extras. He's a decapitated alien. Or maybe this one just isn't fully grown. Maybe it's like a lizard and it can grow its head back. It just hasn't grown its head back yet. Where you like this uh, new coloring for the crystals. Makes it a bit more extra terrestrial. Makes it more spicy. Although, looks like it does not have any metal flake shine to it. No, I think it's just the iridescent coloring that they have. Oh, one thing we do <laughs> need to know. Are these aliens carnivores or vegetarian? Well, I think they look really cute, so they might be carnivores. They look unmenacing, so they must be extremely menacing. Also, it comes with these uh, half-circle tiles, which is a pretty new piece. Also, uh, comment if you think these are vegetarian or carnivore. We're going to go with it, they're carnivore, obviously, due to the um, decapitated <laughs> alien. <laughs> How do you know that it wasn't from something else? Oh, look at this. This is actually quite interesting. Oh, that is interesting. What is it? It's like a new jetpack know. piece. I like that. They're look, really it comes cool with the... Um, for... Same binoculars that you get in some of the other sets. No, they use it to scout out their prey. Well, they don't have any like hands. Like this headless alien. <laughs> <laughs> Comes with these massive steering wheels, presumably to steer the planets. You can attach it on there and control where the it's planet is. It's a genius goes. way. Instead of nuking the asteroids, you can just steer them out of the way. Yeah, exactly. And you will have a rover that will help you do that. Also, I could see these tires being used as like engines for a big spaceship. You I know, can also I've see them it... being used as tires. Right, so you get fenders, but they're not for the tires because they're too small. Uh, is this like a camera on the front? No, it is a camera, so you can find out when that headless alien is about to come and get you. <laughs> because Wait, it's hiding in is... the crevice, waiting <laughs> for its next prey. It's trying to hide so that these ones don't eat it again. <laughs> again? <laughs> well, they ate its head off, obviously. Oh, they can actually kind of stick between the sides if you put it just right. The big question is, these people are stuck with a rover on an alien planet with a headless alien and carnivorous aliens as well. How long will they survive? They have no way to get to the burger truck. Well, you have to also take into account that this set is meant to be combined with all the other space sets. And in those space sets, they do have a way to get home. There are several different yeah, you gotta, uh, ships. Yeah, you gotta imagine it all in one universe, and then it all makes sense. To just get one of them, then not only do you save money, but you also get less Lego, and that's the exact opposite of our motto. Yeah. <laughs> less money, more Lego. See? Yeah. It works. Oh, with these extra pieces, we could make a head for the headless alien. Yes, yeah, so let's, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Head. Let's make a head for the alien. It does have independent suspension, which is nice. So it is quite big. All right, there we are. They've completed a real-life rover. Overall, I think the box looks pretty good. Pretty big, bigger than what I thought it was going to be, especially for $35. It looks good. It looks like the rest of the theme, so it'll fit in with your other space sets. Well, there we go. We've given that headless alien a head. If you've watched it here, comment headful alien. To that pay way. unrespects. Yes, to pay unrespects. <laughs> now he can spy it. Look, he's got... He's got long... <laughs> a broken long sea in 4K. <laughs> <laughs> Give this a rating from 1 to 10, 10 being the best. Okay, one to ten. This is roughly a seven and a half, I think. It's pretty good, actually. I like it. It looks like a bug, and I kind of like that. It gives it a more alien look to it. I really like the aliens. These things are hilarious. And the minifigures are quite good, but it only comes with two, which is sad. I was hoping for more. So I would give it a rating of six and a half, maybe seven. I would give this a rating of seven. Point five. Actually, because I think it's minute. really good, especially the, these aliens. They're just so hilarious looking. But the uh, alien now having a head, I think we'd give it a higher rating. I think I'll say this one's a seven or seven and a half because he's got a head. 
So we have concluded this set is pretty good. Yeah, so 7 out of 10 stars. Oh, yeah, and if you look into this crevice, you can see the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except for you can't because no one subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> so comment Headless Alien to pay respects. If you want to win the set that we'll be giving away eventually, maybe, then <laughs> go watch every single one of our videos three times over. <laughs> subscribe, comment Headless Alien, like, go watch our videos, and subscribe. Less money, more legacy. Yeah, less money, more legacy.